Hey guys, John here with John's View Photography. I wanted to go over a quick note about your camera and capturing data. Your camera is essentially a big calculator. It, it calculates the number of photons that hit the sensor. That's, that's really all they do. Now there's a bunch of other software built into them, I know, but in its basic form, it counts photons. Now, on most cameras, most SLRs, you will see on the back of them one of these. May or may not be in color, but this is a histogram up in this corner. This gives you a brief idea as to the amount of data that you have captured. Now, we'll start with this photo that I have up right here in Lightroom and take a look at this big black nothingness in the foreground. And you can see it on the histogram. My blacks are pretty spiked. There's a whole lot of missing information down here that I wasn't able to capture, or well, rather just didn't have uh, my exposure set high enough. Whereas in this picture, we'll move over this picture is a little bit different. Now the clouds are not as visually interesting, but I have a lot more data to work with. You can see a little bit of the green and some of the field, and you can see there's some detail going on on the back of this reflector panel up there on Jerome Butte. And you can see in the histogram, my blacks and shadows have a lot of data and hardly any of it all the way black. So I have captured information here. Now there's something I can do with this photo that I could not do with this one. And I'll show you really quick. Here in shadows and blacks, because I have information here, if I were to pull those up, I'm going to say 40, yeah, 40 is about right. All the detail starts coming out of the back of this panel and down here, the sagebrush and whatnot. Uh, my light, as you can see on this very edge, is a little blown out, but not completely. I can pull that down just a bit. Pull my highlights down, pull my whites just off of peak. Makes that a little nicer. I touch my blacks just a bit. Now I have a photo with a lot more information in it. I'm not a fan of this horizontal line going right across the middle, but working with a wide angle lens, if your photo is not taken absolutely level, your vertical lines get super wonky anyway. But yeah, lots of data in here. If I were to bring my clarity up and make that data stand out, so just to 26, I know a lot of people hate that clarity, but look at what we have. We have lots of stuff going on in the back of that panel, all kinds of braces and whatnot. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's information that was not captured in this photo here at all. Matter of fact, let's, let's go back. We'll select them both. We'll sync. We'll make the settings the same across both. Let's go back over. Nothing. Black foreground clouds are very interesting, but I have nothing. We let's take a look. Yeah, this may be a power pole. Yeah, it must be power poles. It's a building and a couple lights, but as this is. There's nothing there. That It's just blacked out. This all kinds of data. Lots of stuff going on. So the next time you're out taking photos, take, take a good look at that histogram because the photo may not be visually interesting at first when it's kind of gray area with lots of data in the middle, but... Trust me, you will have a lot more to work with on the computer once you get home. So pay attention to that histogram.
believe me, it will pay off in the end. Thank you much.